Hey, oh, this is a, um, a response to Lawn Boy 1975. Um, I feel like I'm actually being a bit, little, little bit um, of an arsehole and, and manning up. I just wanted to do a response to your chilli video because I adore chilies and, and hot stuff and things like that. And I have been having several issues in the past which seem to resolve themselves. So when I saw your video, it sort of made me chuckle just because I've had far too much chilli. You know, that's this, this not being very good for me at all. But you've shown this in Kona, and I adore in Kona, and I don't, I don't know where it sort of where, where it's it's grown from. My sort of love for this, <coughs> but I can get through a bottle of this a week. I was sometimes getting through a bottle and a half, two bottles a week, and and just putting it on everything. I was mixing it in soups for spices and things like that. Now I was going to do a video of me sort of having one of my famous cheese and chili sandwiches when um, my wife was pregnant with our first child about ten years ago about that's 12 years ago my son's 12 years i should know how old he is um she had a craving for cheese and chili sandwiches and salt and vinegar crisps and they do say that that sometimes women's cravings are the male gene dominating themselves um dominating the woman and sometimes it's it, it, it's a way of the male gene establishing itself um so women can get cravings for what 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 the men usually like um and one of the things was cheese and chili sandwiches but obviously, when when my wife had that, had the son, the cravings went away. But I I developed the taste for that, and that I think that's where that was a downward spiral. Now I was going to do a video of me um, eating a cheese and chili sandwich just to show you how much I put on. But uh, this is this is all I've got left, and I will put a link, or I might down there, or I might actually put um, a clip to a picture I took years ago in my cupboard. We usually keep six bottles at all times, um, but I had the same problem with you, and this is probably going to come under far too much information. But it once got <coughs> once get to a got to a point where the window between wanting the toilet and going to the toilet got shorter and shorter and shorter to a point I had about a sixty second window. You know, I really feel like I needed a shit. And 60 seconds later, if I wasn't sat on the toilet, it was it was disastrous. And it was disastrous three times before I decided I need to see the doctor. And we're talking down the legs disastrous. Sat in the car, in a traffic jam, urge comes along, and you just think, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. And you just cross this threshold where you just think, right, I'm going to have to shit myself now. And properly do. Anyway, went to the doctor. And the doctor says, right, you know, tell, tell them all the symptoms and things like that. And the doctor says... Right, I'm going to send you to the hospital. I'm going to give you an endoscopy, you know, camera up the arse and see if we can't see any lesions or, or anything like that. This is a wonderful story. This is perfect for um, YouTube. I think I should be putting some tag on this. And just before I went, because I'm sort of quite comfortable with sharing information, hence talking about shitting myself on YouTube, um, I did talk to my colleagues about it. And they said, so I said to the doctor, I need to tell you of my diet. My colleagues think I need to tell you what my diet is. And my diet is... I can get through one and a half, two of these a week, maybe, you know, one, one, one to one and a half a week, um, easily. It goes on everything, cheese and chilli sandwiches, everything. And I have strong coffee. And I have, like, two teaspoons of coffee, three sugar. And I'll have that three, four, five times a day. And then those cheap energy drinks, 35p energy drinks, I'll have those. And the doctor just went, gee, I'm not sending you to the hospital. Cut all that out for two weeks. If the problem persists, then come back to me. So I, I was like you. I went and I, I sort of went cold turkey, went off all this. And within three days, four days, all the symptoms are gone. Wasn't shitting myself anymore, which has got to be a, a good thing. Um, and <coughs> it just went completely. And this is, sounds so funny when I say it now. But a, a, another side effect went that I didn't recognise as a side effect. But as soon as I say it, it becomes bleeding obvious. Um, night time. I used to sweat, sweat like a trooper. You know, we changed the bed in twice a week just because I'd sweat that much. And I just thought, I'm a naturally sweaty person. I've, you know, passed the middle age threshold and this is my body de deteriorating and messing around with me. And that went, and as soon as it went, you just go, oh, it's obvious, it's obvious. But it's the chilli, you know, doing it to you. So I just wanted to do a response, just saying that that's that, unfortunately that's that's making its way back up now. That's that's going back onto everything. I've cut down on the coffee ish, 
uh, and that's that's going back up. But now when I have a moment where the window between needing the toilet and going to the toilet gets shorter, I do sort of cut back on this. So I'm probably messing myself up and teetering on the edge of, you know, some sort of um, bowel-related illness or something like that. Um, but I can remember I went online to look for that and I, I read a review online and the review that has mild, someone somewhere on this site has got a chart of all the sources and all the Scoville sites and stuff like that and reviewed that as mild and I was incensed and I wanted to call it a, a show off, almost almost what I am to responding to your video, you know, it, it was it was doing this as much, saying this as mild and I just thought that was quite offensive and then um, it mentioned someone called Dave's Insanity Source. <coughs> So one of my friends went to a good food show and I just went, look, take £20 and get, get the hottest you know, chilli you can. Doesn't matter. You know, even if it's a small amount, I want to sort of see what that's like. So they bought me Dave's Insanity Sauce. And that, that is phenomenal. I'll tell you, let me, I'm not going to take any now. I'm not that stupid. That smearing on my finger would be too much and I don't know where to put it now because I'm not it's that hot I, I just and I am going to have to go and wash that because if I rub my eye or go for a, to the toilet and touch my foreskin I swear blind I will be on the floor see I don't I don't have a problem with sharing too much information um so all I was going to do I was going to show you my meat and a cheese and chili sandwich because these things are exciting um, but this is the last of the chilli. It's awful. It's, 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 it was shock. So all I was going to do was show you me eating some. Because this is, like I said, exciting, exciting stuff. Ooh. No, I thought I'd lost the screen there. I love that stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's just a video response. So you never know. I might actually have to cut it out totally, and that'd be awful. I mean, that's seven months ago for you, isn't it? How are you coping now? I really don't know. Which I'd, I'd, I'd struggle with my, my coffee or my um, chili sauce. I once worked in a residential unit where, where for children with autism and challenging behaviour, where you're allowed to have breakfast in the morning because of the unsocial hours. And I looked in the fridge, fridge, and it was just. <coughs> it was just covered. It was just it was not covered. Um, full of processed stuff, processed cheese, Dunker dippers, chicken swizzles, and God knows whatever anything else. And I just thought that's the worst diet. That there's nothing there worth eating. And then I remembered I always carried a bottle of that in my car. That's how much I liked it. A bottle or two of that in my car was how much I liked it. Um, and as soon as I remembered I got that, everything in the fridge looked lovely. I, I was stuck for choices because as soon as I knew I could drown it in chilli sauce, it became wonderful and I just put it on everything. And I've just had, the reason why I haven't got much, is I've just had some leftover cottage pie from yesterday. And I had that when I started. And I've had that on the cottage pie. So, there you go. It got to a point where I was going to restaurants and I'd take a bottle of that with me to pour on the food and my wife was getting embarrassed so she actually went and bought me a couple of um, travel tubes that you normally put your toiletries in but they're clean from Muji or something like that just so I could have two or three of that in my pocket that I could secretly get out and squirt on my food <laughs> that's how bad it got I'll probably be sticking a photo up now of these travel tubes because when, when she bought them I, I, it was the best present she couldn't have known me better to buy me that present so yeah chilli and things like that I absolutely adore um, <coughs> and that's it. That's nine minutes I've just wasted talking about that. Okay, bye.